by the way, this game is multiplayer only, this mod. Uh, the game itself is Arma 2 combined operations, you need both games. And uh, it's a total of 30 bucks. And this mod alone is worth 30 bucks, but the mod is free, of course. And the mod, if you haven't already read the title or something, it's called Day Z or Day Z. I'm Canadian, so I have to say Day Z. But I think it's meant to be pronounced Day Z. Uh, you know, kind of like the flower. And uh, yeah, installation was pretty easy. I used Six Launcher, which is that recommended thing. And I'm gonna sprint. Um, man, they're everywhere. Um, Yeah, that guy just died. Um, man, they are everywhere, crap. Oh, that's weird. Um, but yeah, it's a really interesting mod. The controls are a little weird. If you guys want me to do a... Actually, I'm kind of doing basics here. So I might as well tell you kind of the basics of the game. Um, to change from first and third person perspectives, you press the enter key on your number pad, not the regular enter button, like below, above the shift button, The uh, it's the one on your number pad on a desktop keyboard, it may not be on your laptops, you might have to change the options or something, uh, you can't change the controls in game, you have to change them uh, it's some other way, I don't know how actually, and to access your inventory, you press G, Press G, and you can fiddle around with stuff. Pushing the arrow this way drops your item, and then, uh, but if you open a backpack, for example, you if you push it to the left, then that'll put it in your backpack. And once your inventory, see this is in my backpack here, so I've got two slots left, two out of eight slots ready to be put stuff in, so I can put these chem lights in there, and now it takes up one slot, but I, I'll keep them out. And then you can put 1911 mags in there again, as you can see. And uh, you got to keep track of your, um, oh here, hang on, to equip flashlight, because this will probably be a common uh, dilemma, click on flashlight, right click on it and remove from tool belt, and that'll equip it automatically, and the same goes for the axe, you can't use the, ha the hunting knife, as that is for skinning animals. Um, uh, let's see here. To zoom in, you you hold down the right mouse button, and to just like aim, you click it, and click it again to take it out. To change from uh, walking and sprinting, like running, you hold down shift to walk, and then you would double tap it to permanently walk, and then hold down shift to run, so you kind of can switch them. To do a full on sprint, you double tap W, and that makes you run a little bit faster, in case you're being chased by zombies. And see how I'm doing this turnaround thing? Um, that is, you should do that very often if you get the mod. Uh, you do that by um, holding down the Alt button, and that allows you to look around. So just hold down the Alt button and move your mouse around. Uh, to go crouch, press X. To go prone, press Z. Uh, to get back up, press X, or C actually, C to stand. Um, and like I said earlier, you have to monitor a couple things. On the right there, you'll see that uh, it looks like a, I don't know what to call it, th that little tube type thing. That is your heat, your heat light conditions. As long as you're above 30 degrees, you're fine. And uh, your water levels, once that, if any of these start flashing, you have to take the required items. Um, for the temperature, you have to take a heating pack. For water, you just have to drink like a Coke or a bottle of water. The blood, that little drop thing, is your blood and, and uh, if it starts flashing then again you have to take a bandage and most of these things can be accessed by clicking on them in your inventory right clicking on them and then just whatever so for example press G to open inventory go to bandage right click and bandage myself for the blood and then uh, at the bottom there is food and as you can see I'm red but I don't actually need food until it starts flashing so I'm good for now, and it's yet to be flashing, so I'm not going to bother taking food until necessary. Yeah, I'm just getting quite a lot of frame rate dips here. Hang on. That's why. 
Okay. That's a little bit better, because the HDR quality did not... Hang on, I just have to go check that it actually did. Yeah, there we go. Um, and we'll put terrain detail on... Actually, no. We'll put... This on... Okay. This should improve a little bit more quality. Yeah, we're getting higher frame rates now, more like 30. And 26 when zooming in, that's that's a little better. And yeah, the main thing you want to do right away when you spawn in the game is to look for a weapon. You spawn with literally like a flashlight, a bandage, and I think that's practically it, that's all you get. So you're defenseless, to, to put it bluntly. And you need to find a weapon, most of the time you'll find a, uh, a hatchet, which I showed you how to access earlier. And, um, yeah, the hatchet's actually surprisingly, oh crap, um, surprisingly good. And here's a live demonstration of that whenever you see zombies, immediately go prone, as they're less likely to see and hear you that way. So, that's what I'd suggest. And I'm just, and to roll while you're prone, press E to go to the right, and Q to go to the left. Pretty straightforward. And if you notice on the left of my screen, there are those little circles. Those are zombies or enemies or even humans. And yes, there are other people in the game. It's, uh, that's an interesting thing. Uh, because, yeah, that just shows that there's lots of zombies nearby. Yeah, um... Yeah, I'm gonna check out this barn anyway. This is where I found the Lee Enfield, in here. But I'm gonna see if there's anything better this time. 